Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is alive and not dead. He rose off out of the grave on the third day. God raised Jesus from the dead and he is seated at the right hand of the Father making intercession. He's praying for you and he's praying for me even right now. Whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, I believe God has led you to this time and this season so that you could know who he is. And you can understand how he's working in your life. That's why for 31 days, we're reading about the names and titles of God so we can get to know him better, so we can trust him more and we can see him do amazing things in the lives of his people. If you're just joining us, that's 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 OK. Uh, you're we're in day number 19. You can go back and pray with us uh, through the other 18 days. And today we're going to be in John chapter eight and verse 12. And we're going to learn something about God as the light of the world. That's right, that God is the light of the world. Listen to what John chapter 8 and verse 12 says from the New King James Version of God's Word. It says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. We want to go to God again today with grateful hearts, just thanking God that Jesus is, in fact, the light of the world. Then we want to thank God that we are followers of Jesus in this world. Though we may be walking in a dark world, we follow the light of Jesus Christ. And then we want to thank God that we walk in the light of Jesus and not in the darkness of this world. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let's just thank God and praise him for being our light in the darkness. Lord, we love you and we honor you today. and We lift you up and magnify you. We declare that you are great and greatly to be praised. God, from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, in all places, at all times, you are worthy of our praise. God, if we had 10,000 tongues, we wouldn't be able to praise you enough. So we pray, Lord God, you would take this time of devotion and sanctify it. Make it holy. Make it pleasing in your sight. God, as we settle down in our day, as we take time out from our day to pray to you, to seek you with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul. God, we desire to be more and more like our big brother Jesus. We desire, God, to know your will for our life. And we desire, God, to walk in that will that you might be able to do great things through us. But Lord God, we recognize and realize that we are in the world, but as Jesus said, we are not of this world. That this world is a dark place. That there are so many hidden traps of the enemy that have been laid in our path. And if we are not careful, Lord, we'll trip and fall into the traps of the enemy. But we thank you, Lord, that you, Jesus, are the light of the world. We thank you, Lord, that even in a dark world, we have you as the light of the world. And so, Lord, we don't have to stumble and trip and fall at the plans of the enemy, but we can walk in the light of your countenance and we can follow the light of your word. For the psalmist tells us that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. So, Jesus, we thank you that you provide light and illumination even in the darkest of places. Lord, thank you that when we were in the depths of the darkness of our depression, that the light of your word and the light of your countenance shone in, and we followed your light out of those depressed and dark places. And we thank you, Lord, that we now live in your marvelous light. Lord, when we were in the dark about what to do and how to do it and when to do it and where to do it, and we didn't know which way to turn, Lord, we thank you that, Jesus, you again are the light of the world. That when the enemy, Lord, tried to cover us and keep us from knowing your plan of salvation, Lord, your grace and your mercy were sufficient. For, Lord God, we were saved by grace and we were saved through faith. And it was not of our works, lest we would boast. But we thank you, Lord that in the darkness of our unsaved lives, your light of salvation shined through and we were able to give our life to Christ 
for the forgiveness of our sin and the purifying of our souls. And we pray, Lord God, today that as we move forward, we would walk in the light of Jesus Christ, that as family members and as leaders of families and as developers of children and as husbands and wives, God, we would walk in the newness of life and in the light of Jesus Christ. Lord, as pastors and preachers and leaders, Lord, and, and ministry workers, God, we would walk in the light of your plan for ministry. Lord, on our jobs and in our professions and in our vocations, Lord, there's so much darkness and evil lurking around organizations and corporations. But Lord God, you sent us as a light in a dark situation, God. So illuminate our path that we might be able to navigate the circumstances of this life to bring you glory and to bring you honor and to bring you praise. Lord, we thank you that even in dark places, we can look to you and you will light up our life. Lord, let your light so shine in us that we would literally be a lamp or a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Lord, let us be lights for you that when others are walking in darkness, they will see the light of your gospel shining through our lives and they would ask for the reason for our hope and we would share that you are in fact the light of the world. We love you for that, Lord. We honor you and bless you and praise you for it. And we pray that you'll meet your people right at the point of their needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 19, and we we're praying from um, John chapter 8 and verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Amen. I enjoy so much praying for you. I pray it's been a blessing to you. And if it has, I pray you'll subscribe to the channel and share the channel with a family member, friend, somebody that you can pray with along the way. It'd be great to make this a part of your daily devotion or maybe have a prayer team get together and pray these scriptures. And if it's a blessing to you, um, share it with somebody else. Let them know we're praying about the names of God and the titles of God. We love you in the Lord. We'll be back tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.